Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread evening meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin this reflective time, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths and let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. Though you cannot see Him, God is here to hold and comfort you tonight. This is the assurance He has given us throughout Scripture, and He cannot be unfaithful to His Word. Father God, sometimes I may wish my life with you were easier. I may wish I could see your kingdom and your power at work. And I long for that kind of assurance. Please help me to see instead by faith. To trust everything you say in your word about who you are. Give me faith to believe you are with me right now. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 it says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Do you sometimes wish you had a pair of spiritual glasses you could slip on to help you see beyond the visible? To help you glimpse God at work behind the scenes? Now we may not have spiritual glasses, but we do have God's word, which helps us to view the world and our lives the way he sees them. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, writes the author of Hebrews. What is seen was not made out of what was visible. The situations, limits and pains that we see are not the full story. The scaffolding around our world and our lives are the assurances and promises God gives us in his word. Even though we cannot see him by faith, we know God is here with us because he says so. We know he is always at work for our good and reigns over every circumstance because he says so. He will never let us down because he says so. Living by faith means never letting go of his promises, no matter what we may see around us, because we know who God is. Do you struggle to be confident in the promises God has given you about his love and presence? Give him your doubts and weaknesses tonight 
and let your heart fill up with the assurances of Scripture. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Take a moment to do this breathing exercise to relax your body Refocus your heart and let yourself be filled with the calming presence of our almighty God who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. So breathe in. And out. and in and out and in and out let's pray father god Thank you for being patient with me in my doubts and fears. Thank you for your gentleness and compassion when I feel weak. I want to hand my doubts to you in faith, trusting that you will lead me through them. Lord, help me to experience the confidence your word describes. For you always remain the same and you always stay true to your word. Bring to my mind a promise from the Bible that you want me to take hold of tonight. In Hebrews chapter 4 verses 15 to 16 it says, We do not have a high priest who is unable to feel sympathy for our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you clearly invite me to live before your throne of grace in confidence. Continue to reassure me of the mercy you show me and the strength you give me. When all I see causes me sadness and sorrow, help me to live by faith, confident that I am in your unseen presence and welcome before your throne through Jesus. Amen.